For a long time now, Boosity had in its Android demonstration application the ability to compute stereo disparity from two arbitrary views. Originally, you could just view the resulting disparity, which is what you're seeing now. In a disparity image, the Z distance of a pixel is shown using color. In this case, warmer colors mean the pixel is closer, while cooler colors indicate that it's farther away. It was missing the ability to view the results as a 3D point cloud, which is what you're looking at now. This is much more interesting to look at than the disparity image, right? It also lacked um, several new capabilities which it has now. For example, you can select more air metrics like census, normalized cross-correlation, and hierarchical mutual information. Semi-global matching is also a new algorithm that's been added. SGM um, is one of the more popular stereo algorithms and is often um, provided in a hardware implementation. In this case, it's done in software and can take like about 100 milliseconds to several seconds to compute, depending on a lot of different factors. There are many fairly subtle new capabilities added to Boost CV over the past year or two that have improved its performance in this demonstration, such as the ability to automatically reshape the rectified image depending on how the camera was oriented relative to its motion. This means that you can take the image along any axis of motion that you want, as long as it's approximately along the same plane as the image plane, such as vertical, diagonal, or right to left, um, all of which I'm showing you now in the video. The standard for stereo is to go from left to right, but that's just an arbitrary standard. Boost CV will even mask out out-of-bound pixels in a disparity image automatically, which is why there is so little noise along the borders. One desperately needed feature in this demonstration was the ability to see a camera preview as you're lining up the images. This missing feature is a little bit embarrassing, as it required the user to blindly take photos in the hope that they would line up well, and I think this added a lot to the difficulty that people had in replicating the results that I showed in the uh, example images previously. Let's talk a bit about how to take a good pair of photos for stereo processing by hand. When I take these photos, you should notice that I'm keeping the camera fairly still and gently tapping the screen. If you jerk the camera and you take a photo, there will be motion blur and that will mess everything up. The camera is also being moved only a short distance, anywhere from a few centimeters to about 20 centimeters, depending on the distance of the objects being viewed. Off-plane rotation is being kept to a minimum. These scenes are also composed of static objects, which are not glossy, with a fair amount of texture, and are not overexposed. You can get surprisingly good results in situations where there's only a little bit of texture too. Here's an example of a door or a white wall. It managed to figure out the shape of the scene fairly accurately, despite there are um, getting a few things wrong. The noise on the door of the left could be reduced with a bit of pruning and filling in of holes in the disparity image. How do you share these awesome three images you just created? Press the letter S on the far right hand side and save everything to disk. You can then mount your Android device on the computer and copy the files using the shown location. You can't see directly in these videos, but I'm controlling the 3D view by sliding my fingers across the screen. If I first touch a point of center, which I just drew, it will translate along the local X and Y axis in the camera frame. To rotate, um, you need to touch one of the three regions which I just drew, and then it will do a rotation around the X and Y, Z axis. However, this rotation right now is a little bit funky because it's doing it in the global frame and not the local frame, which is a bit unintuitive and tends not to do exactly what you want. As a reward for watching the entire video, I'll tell you a bit of critical information that you really need to know. You first need to calibrate your Android device before you can compute these stereo images. It's not hard. You just need to print a um, checkerboard pattern out and then follow instructions are going to be shown on another video. And you can also just kind of follow similar instructions that you find online. So thanks for watching. Download the demonstration application to your Android device if you haven't already and start coding with Boof CV. Um, and then for the rest of the video, I'll just show you some cool looking um, scenes I captured.